Next up is a way to bring on the holiday cheer. Season's greetings, sharks. My name is Jason McComber. This is Cooper the Elf. <laughs> and I know you all know Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the founder and owner of Beard Mints, and I'm here today seeking $150,000 in exchange for 10% of my company. Now, sharks, do you recall the most famous Beardo of all? There once was a jolly man who gave everyone Christmas cheer, but Santa he grew bored of wearing the same outfit each year. I tried ugly sweaters, but they all just looked weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shouted the elf. Let's put stuff in your beard. <laughs> so he clipped in bright ornaments of gold, silver, red, and green. Now this was holiday spirit that the North Pole had never seen. <laughs> Beardaments, exclaimed <laughs> Santa. That's what they'll be called. You can clip them almost anywhere, even your chest hair if you're bald. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't stop there, because this Santa had no doubt. There must be other ways you could deck a beard out. So the elves quickly made beard oil, glitter, and lights. So anyone without a Rudolph could still see through the night. The North Pole was ecstatic. Santa was looking fly. Even Mrs. Claus couldn't keep her hands off this guy. <laughs> now sharks, who wants to season up your beard and step under the mistletoe? Make my Christmas wish come true. And let's Aww. watch your money grow. Ho, ho, ho. All right, Sharks, <laughs> I know you've all stayed off the naughty list this year, so Santa and the Elf are going to pass out some samples for you. Cool beans. Wow. <laughs> Just when I think I've seen it all. Right? Yeah. Wow, thank you, Cooper I, the Elf. I can't wait to put this on. How about you, Lori? <laughs> <laughs> Lori, what do you think? Well, Robert, that's not your best oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We got you a wig, too. Oh, that's very important. Oh. There you go, Ken. Wow. Beautiful. You can clip them oh. anywhere. Thank you, Mr. Cooper the Elf. I appreciate that. Well, I think it's going to look terrific. Oh. You guys look great. <laughs> All right, well, Santa and the Elf have to go wrap some presents, guys, so we're going to send them on their way. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Santa. So Thanks, Bye. Cooper the Elf. Bye-bye. Why did you come up with this? So I started this company four years ago, um, just a Christmas party. I decided to hook some stuff in my beard after probably a couple drinks. <laughs> Everyone loved it and thought it was funny. So that next year, we just started to sell it. Um, I, I actually spent $1,500 of my own money, um, ordered some from China. I got 1,000 packs, listed them on Etsy and eBay, a couple places online, and I sold out of that, those 1,000 packs within a couple weeks. So our first year, we did $80,000 in sales. What? 80, oh, you're kidding. In about two months. Wow, what'd you do the second year? Uh, second year was 155,000 in sales. What? Wow. You gotta be kidding. What'd last you do last year? Last year? Uh, $462,000. What? In sales. <laughs> yep. Oh, and your day is incredible. So I, I, we're projecting to do about 600 to 700,000 in and sales this year. It's all direct to customer? Yes. This is a UFB. Unfrickin' believable. Yeah, it, <laughs> I mean, it, blows, yeah. it blows me away. So the, the regular beard ornaments sell for $9.99. I get them made for $1.66 per pack. Uh. And then the light up ornaments, this will be our second year doing the light up. How do you, you charge for that? $19.99. And, and, what do you, and what they cost me $4.66. Wait, $4 wait, and 26 wait, for how many? 10 or regular ornaments, six lights. How long does it last? About two days of continuous usage. So but you can turn them on and turn so them on. So you want them to burn out so they uh, buy again. Where's right? your on-off? And how many people really say the $10? Item. But acquiring that customer, it's a subset of the male population. Correct. So, so they, how are you getting to them? So they say 55% of men have some sort of facial hair. Uh, but where <laughs> we've been really lucky is we've had a couple videos go viral. So 130 million views wow. in, 2017, wow. in 2017 cost me zero marketing. And so that was a huge influx. That's but why we had the growth can in Can you get that every year? No, but my goal last year was to maintain the sales, and I did. We do a ton of just email blasts out to existing customers, so what I did. Is, what I, is your I increased sales. Though? I'm a director of sales for a telecom distributor. I'm not an e-commerce guy. I'm not a website SEO guy. I mean, a lot of this is just me bootstrapping and shipping from my basement. Well, you're killing it. And I've got some ideas of where I want to take this. One thing I think would be great is sports licensing. I mean, sell these at the stadiums. Sell these at the stadiums. Oh, yeah, sell them at the stadiums at the Mavericks logo, right? Or any NFL stadium and get the licensing to do little football. I don't know if that's a great idea. So what do you want the 150000 for? I have four things. It's it's the, the licensing. I want to do other holidays. So I think Hanukkah, Gay Pride, Independence Day. Mm. Um, so there's that. I also I want to try to that. get into retail because I think a $10, $20 item, getting it on the shelves, I think it'll sell quickly. 
Um, and then the fourth would be just expanding internationally or trying to broaden. But Jason, you're crushing it. This is the ultimate UFB. This is like, this proves that even the corniest ideas can make money if implemented correctly. I mean, Thank you. Thank you. I, I really think that you don't need us. I mean, as much as I, I hate know. to say that, you're crushing it. I mean, yeah. just put all that money in your pocket. This is like a dream for most people. Thank you. Thank you. I just don't see how it'd be investable for me in a way that works for both of us. So for okay. those reasons, I'm Understood. out. Thank you. Thank you know, you. Um, great that you thought of this. I get it's kitschy, it's fun. I can see people with beards loving it. It is so like in the garage kind of thing. And look what you've done with it. And Thank so you. amazing, kudos to you. But I agree with Mark 100%. You don't need a shark. You have your own business going. I think you're doing great. And I don't say this often, but I don't think you need a shark, and so I'm out. Okay, and I appreciate that. I think the reason I'm here, um, it's not about the money for me. I mean, luckily, like I said, I do have a job, but I think having someone help me take this, we're doing, you know, half a million in sales. I think we could get this yeah. for three to five but million. Exactly. Jason, I have no aversion to making money off you. Awesome. But why is it worth 1.5 million? Right. So I think this year, because I pre-purchased the inventory, um, I'm thinking we're going to do around 250 to 300,000 in net. So that's about five times net profit. I want to caution you against one thing. Yeah. I've invested in a lot of businesses that have one product and a big hit. And the biggest mistake the entrepreneurs make is to try to create new markets for it. When you said to me, you're thinking of doing this holiday or that holiday, I've seen that attempted many times. I've never seen it work. Maybe come out with new SKUs each year, get return customers, but I think that's what the business is about. I don't think there's room for any partner, so no. Okay, thank yeah. you for the feedback. I Jason, I that. think you have a great brand, Beard Immense. This is a part-time gig for you, but there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You're making a boatload of cash, right. but for me to invest, I want to know you're all in. I wish you the best, not for me. Okay. I'm out. Thank you, I appreciate that. I give you 150000 How do I get it back? Uh, by taking part in those distributions and we'll figure out how to grow the business, right? And, and figure out how to increase sales. It's so crazy. Business. I'm looking at it saying to myself, I am the only shark here who's made money selling crazy chicken things. I want to draw a cat for you, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, tipsy elves. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah. It kind of reminds me of like my potato parcel deal. Everybody thought it was a joke. The guy's making a fortune. I don't know. It's tempting. It's tempting, but... I'm hair challenged. That's the problem. Hey. It's... <laughs> what? <laughs> I understand that, Kevin. Oh, one of those yeah. deals. What does your gut say, Kevin? What does yeah, your gut go say, with your gut, gut Kevin? Oh, okay. Uh, you know, it's tough because on a crazy deal, I've made a lot of money on crazy deals. I, I, I'm going to pass, Jason. I'm just, it's just, it's, wow. it's, it's, wow. it's great, but it's, it's, Frivolous, that's the problem. But that's so. you. No. I like money as much as you do, Kevin. I like we'll, that. We'll figure out how to make it work. Uh, 150 for 25%. Deal. No. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm wasting the time with that. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. All right. Thank wow. you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Jason, congrats. Thank you. Kevin is the guy. I mean, from a licensing standpoint and from the way that he likes money. Now, I keep hearing terrible things about Mr. Wonderful and how he's the Grinch, but this time he really came in and saved Christmas. That's your kind of deal. Kevin, you have a heart. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Tank YouTube channel and ring the notification bell to keep up with everything that's bubbling in the tank.